Welcome to a second video taking a look at solving equations and inequalities. In this video we are going to take a look at equations and inequalities where there is a bracket involved. So here I've got 3 bracket 2a minus 5 is equal to 33. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm simply going to multiply out the brackets. So generally when I see a bracket I'm in, in a GCSE exam I'm going to try to get rid of it by multiplying it out. So 3 multiplied by 2a, that's going to give me 6a. Then 3 multiplied by negative 5, that's going to give me negative 15. And we can say that that is equal to 33. So my first step really is just to multiply out this bracket. If you're not sure on how to do this, then see the other videos that are available on the channel. So I've got 6a minus 15 equals 33. Now what I'm going to do here is I need to get rid of this negative 15. So the way in which I'm going to do that, I'm going to add 15. By adding 15 to both sides of my equation, it gets rid of the negative 15. And so what I'm left with is just 6a on this side of the equal sign. And then I've got 33 plus 15. That's going to give me 48. At this point, I'm trying to figure out what a is equal to. I've got 6 lots of a equal 48. So to find out what just one lot of a is, I just need to divide by 6. And so dividing by 6, 48 divided by 6, that's going to give me 8. You can think of this, I've just divided by the number in front of the letter. So my final answer is simply a equals 8. OK, next one I've got 5, bracket 3a minus 5 is greater than 85. So again, first step, multiply out the brackets. 5 multiplied by 3a gives me 15a. 5 multiplied by negative 5 gives me negative 25. And that is greater than 85. So at this point, what I now need to do is I need to get rid of the negative 25. And I'm going to do that by adding 25. So by adding 25 to both sides, I'm getting rid of the negative 25 and so what I'm left with is 15a is greater than 85 plus 25 that's going to give me 110 now all that I now need to do is I need to, I'm trying to figure out what a is greater than so in order to do that I've got 15a is greater than 110 what is 1a greater than well, in order to find that out, I just need to divide by 15. So what I could do is I could say that that is 110 divided by 15. And then I could say that that means that A is greater than how many 15s fit into 110? That would be uh, 5, 6, uh, 7, and 5 15s. I could then cancel down that 5 15th, that fraction there, and I could say that that is the same as uh, 1 third. So A is greater than 7 and 1 third. 